Give me that. It wasn't that hard. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I checked out Colonials. And this 2023 film was directed by Andrew Balak and Joe Bland and stars Ali Ayers, Sean Cannon, and Louise Barnes, among others, of course. The story of this movie is that humans kind of destroyed the Earth and so people moved to Mars or call themselves the Colonials. And they had a war or something. And of course, the looting side is exiled back to Earth. So these exiles go to Earth. Of course, there's a few people still left there. They're like hiding underground and stuff. And they then try to take over Earth with like their new super weapon. So the Mars Colonials send like a scout or something to try to check out the situation or, you know, solve the whole thing. And he crash lands on Earth and then he has amnesia. And so he does team up with the Earthlings to fight the exiles and stuff like that. What will happen though? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. So what works with it? Well, the fun factor in this one is probably going to be the, the best thing to talk about. I certainly think it is fun. It's just a cheesy kind of sci-fi thing. Clearly, they have a lower budget, but that doesn't stop them from being ambitious, which is absolutely great. You can certainly see that they are putting in the time to, to make it as best as they can, even if their budget does limit how good they can actually make it. So they're doing all of this stuff. They're putting in these great little sequences the characters are great and everything like that so lots of it certainly does work and overall i thought it was a fun time it does take a little bit of time to get into this story so you know you gotta watch the first 30 minutes and then you know really make a decision but by then you should be into it so yeah i don't know it's just a fun little sci-fi story in addition this movie does give you a wink and a nod the whole way through and i did enjoy that quality there are certainly things that are supposed to be ironic in it it's just like conversations where people don't know where the keys are or whatever and i don't know i thought it was really kind of charming it certainly gave it like a little bit of heart to it and so you know that wink and the nod that they're doing to you the whole time from the audience perspective you know you notice it you, you know they're they have certain limitations so they include this little wink and the nod and it goes a long way i think and so it is a lot of fun with that regard furthermore this movie does have quite a bit of cgi in it and it's all like kind of video game-esque CGI, like from video games like Halo or something like that. Anytime you have like a helmet character walking around. And it is clearly not the best, but with a lower budget movie, you know, they doing the best with what they got. I would say it works. I do think it does take away from the viewing experience a little bit because it's very noticeable when there's no actual humans on the screen. It looks just like CGI video games. But... You know, it's very forgivable. I, I would say I really did not mind it at all. It works for what it is, works for the budget, and adds a lot to it. It goes really far in this one. They have quite a few space battles, space walks, whole armies of robots and stuff like that. So CGI, I'll, I'll say it works. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, the sound quality is certainly all over the place. People will be talking and then like halfway through their sentence it will go to like ADR and be like perfectly fine quality and then back to the mic where you can barely hear them. And so the sound quality is absolutely all over the place. They don't really balance it, I would say. And that I think goes into the editing as well. I would say it's edited something like I would edit a movie. Take that what you will. I am the professional amateur hour. So how professional can it really be? And yeah, that certainly is, is something I noticed. But of course, I'm watching a lot of, of movies out here. So yeah, I don't know. It's, it is what it is. It's something in there that, you know, the, the movie fans will certainly see about how you could do it differently. But it's nothing really to distract from the story or things like that. I would say probably the CGI is the most distracting thing. So yeah, all of this other stuff goes into it. So that makes it for, you know, a low budget sci-fi film. There's also quite a bit of green screen in this one, and all of it's done perfectly fine. However, I think there are a few kind of goofs with the green screen. I think sometimes people will like nudge the camera, the camera will wobble back and forth, but then the, the green screen won't move because it's not even there, right? 
And so things like that are in there. If you do enjoy looking for goofs, I'm sure there's quite a few in this one that you can look for. So things like that, I enjoy. I enjoy all this low budget stuff, so it works for me. I know it's not going to work for everyone though. As for my recommendation, well, I thought it was a fun time if you're trying to watch it ironically. So if that sounds like you, you know, you like bad sci-fi, you like corny stuff, you like low budget stuff, that you can just enjoy for what it is. Then you can certainly press play with this one. So ironic watching, probably going to be the best watching. So if that sounds like you, then press play with this one. As for rating, well, I thought it was pretty mildly interesting, so I'll give it the 3.4. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.